SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we've got big news out of T-Mobile. They're making some gains in some towns in Ohio. And these aren't big towns. These are smaller towns. right? So we're kind of talking uh, kind of out the way, uh, small suburban, kind of ruralish sort of small communities. So, you know, anybody can network in big towns where you got, you know, lots of customers and big demand. But how about in some smaller towns that deserve some love too? Lima. Van Wert, Selena to start, and also Athens. Let's talk about that here and check out the details that T-Mobile dropped on their newsroom stories. Link for the article can be found in the description. Ways to support us in the description as well. All right, let's see what we got here. The title, Lima, Van Wert, Selena, T-Mobile's updated its network with even faster speeds and more 5G coverage. Let's check out the deets. All right, so uh, T-Mobile taking the networking piece to the next level. Tens of thousands across Lima, Van Wert, and Salina, Ohio, getting coverage on T-Mobile's 5G network. 71% of their outdoor areas in the region, 95% of the locals who call the area home with T-Mobile's ultra-capacity, ultra-fast 5G. Anything else we should know about this? It does say that, you know, it's the SA 5G version of their network, so you're getting some enhancements in that respect. Uh, so to me, this means you got N41, you got all the upgraded components to all these tower sites. I'm not sure how many sites are in these cities. I don't, I'm not, I'm not positive on that. They didn't disclose it, I don't think. Uh, but what you're going to get out of this, oh, there it is. Uh, T-Mobile added 21 new towers with 30 upgrades to existing towers across these three towns, right? So that lets you know kind of the scale of the upgrades. See, towns like this in Ohio often get overlooked for a while because you know you don't have the, the return on investment you don't have the population demand there you know so it's good to see them finally getting to the upgrades and building new sites you know t-mobile's probably looking at disrupting in these places that have historically really been the strangleholds for verizon and at&t probably more so verizon um maybe at&t possibly as well uh can't say i've been to those locations in a while uh, but I, I can tell you there are probably some Sprint keep sites there. I think Sprint had some decent coverage at that time. But those sites needed upgrades, and it looks like T-Mobile took care of business finally. All right, so you've got upgraded existing infrastructure. You've got new infrastructure across those towns. And I think this probably puts them right on par with whatever you know Verizon and AT&T are doing in those places. And I think that's the important part. You're getting a more competitive experience from all your carriers now. As T-Mobile has become a nationwide provider in the new form of its company. And the nice thing with these upgrades, you're going to get a T-Mobile home internet option now, right? For those that might be looking for a competitor for outdated expensive cable, maybe some crappy DSL option or expensive fiber, it's always worth a try, right? So that's exciting for those folks in those locations, Lima, Van Wert, and Selena. One more to talk about, and that is Athens, Ohio. Now, Athens is a big big campus right it's uh there's a university there and i'm assuming that they probably either had to upgrade the tower site there on campus or around the campus or probably add and enhance coverage with new tower sites uh so here same type of upgrade description it says here 82 percent of athenians that's a thing <laughs> got the 5g ultra capacity access so that means a little bit of the area doesn't have 5G UC, uh, part of it's going to probably just be on the regular 5G. Uh, so, you know, that's that's still pretty good. Uh, they'll have the 5G home internet option available to them as well. It says here that since 2019, T-Mobile has added six new towers and upgrades to 30 existing towers in Athens. All right, so that all sounds really, really good. All right, so I'm a big fan of this, and I'm going to tell you guys why. These parts of the Midwest, Mid-America... They don't get a lot of love from carriers. Verizon is doing a lot of upgrades. Uh, you know, AT&T was pretty busy, you know, with their first net upgrades, but now they're having to go back and do a lot of the N77, the C-band DOD stuff. It's good to see these areas getting upgrades because there are folks out there and the network does deserve attention. You know, there's people paying their bills. They need coverage and access. And now you got this home internet situation with Verizon, AT&T, and, and T-Mobile. They're all kind of competing and they can all offer their services as they do their network upgrades. So this is exciting. I'm actually curious if anybody is from these areas, what type of experience are you seeing now compared to previously with T-Mobile? Because I have a feeling 
they've really changed the way their network experiences for their customers. The network's probably a crap ton faster. The coverage is probably enhanced. And now you've got a real competitor for any other company that's kind of been, you know, like I said, had a stranglehold on the market share. You know, this area probably previously, there was a time where it was basically Verizon. Uh, and, and then AT&T, now you're getting T-Mobile in there. Very exciting. See, I know a lot of people shit on the merger and, and they don't like the way that things have played out with the corporate piece of T-Mobile. But if you can look past that and, and try to also remember, the new version of T-Mobile is a better network experience. And if not for that newer version of T-Mobile, Verizon and, and AT&T probably wouldn't be acting as you know, and enthusiastically and energetically as they are with respect to their network and competing. So I, for one, have always appreciated that about the new version of the T-Mobile, and I'm glad to have it. Uh, you know, the other stuff is kind of the negative, right? The, the layoffs and all those things. All that's real. Uh, I'm not downplaying those things, but, you know, these things have to be identified too. I can imagine a world where T-Mobile, you know, these things wouldn't be happening without the merger. Anyways, Share your experiences with me if you're from these areas or if you're from a similar small Midwest town. What have you been seeing from T-Mobile? Sound off in the comment section below. Do all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.